Welcome to a short tutorial on the Passmark benchmarking tool. Passmark refers to their software as Easy PC Benchmarking, no pun intended. Let's find out if this promise holds true for their performance test application that tests various components of your computer. There is a free trial and a buy now version. You will of course use the free trial version. This will give you 30 days to benchmark your system, which should be plenty. In case you need more time, you can buy a license for $30. It's a one-time fee. You can move it to your USB drive and use it on every computer that you're getting your hands on. Once you've downloaded and installed the program to a location of your choice, you will see a relatively unemotional user interface. Don't let that fool you, it's a very powerful interface. It allows you to benchmark your system in various ways. There are five categories, the most important ones for the majority are CPU mark and 3D mark. In addition, you can find 2D mark, memory mark and disk mark. The names speak for themselves and I will now show you how to properly test your system. At first, you want to take a quick look at the preferences. The first thing you want to check is the test duration. Medium equals roughly 8 to 12 minutes, depending on your system of benchmarking. You can additionally see the temperature display in either Celsius or Fahrenheit. I would advise you to use something different like hardware info and run it on a second screen though, if you have one of course. In case you want to compare your system to other popular systems, you can select the Manage Baselines option. You can see here that a few popular builds are listed. Later on I will show you how to compare your system online with more recent and updated benchmark results. In case you don't want to run a separate category of tests, I advise you to simply click the Run Benchmarks option. At first, CPU Mark is going through a number of procedures and calculations to test how fast your number of cores and threads of your CPU can solve them. Floating point calculations, prime numbers and compression as well as encryption are used. There's also a single core test. The next one is the 2D graphics mark. You have to take those results with a grain of salt though. It basically tests the ability of your video card for everyday applications such as web browsing and cut drawing, rendering of simple and complex vectors, fonts and text, image filters, image rendering, PDF rendering and direct 2D. Image rendering and image filters seem to be broken though and don't give accurate results, which will be of relevance later. The next benchmark is the shiniest one. It's the 3D graphics test and it measures the performance of your 3D graphics hardware, aka your GPU or graphics card. It mainly consists of some pre-rendered scenes that could be taken from video games. It also supports up to DirectX 12 and a 4K resolution. As a fourth test, Passmark is going to test your memory. It will do database operations, cached and uncached reads, write, latency and threaded read tests. Lastly comes the rather unspectacular disk test. It will test sequential read, sequential write, random seek read and write and IOPS for all your hard disk and solid state drives in your computer. Once you're done, you will see the score for CPU, 2D, 3D, memory and disk. You will also have a total Passmark score with all tests factored in. In case you are interested in the calculation of the overall test score, I will have a link in the description of this video to help you on this one. You can see that my total Passmark rating is 1754, which ranks my current system in the 25th percentile. That means 75% of computers out there are faster. Two things should be noted and stressed, however. At first, the 2D graphics mark is not working properly on some systems, mainly on Windows 10, which will completely destroy your rating on 2D graphics mark and also your overall rating, meaning my system could be and potentially is rated higher because it's faster. A fix for that bug does not seem to exist at the making of this video. If you take CPU mark and 3D graphics mark into consideration, that should be sufficient for most of you. Or simply look at the categories except image rendering and image filters. Let's get to my result. Since I only have a 4790K i7 processor, which is already 6 years old, the overall score for CPU is around the 50th percentile. Still alright for 4Ks and 8 threads, I guess. You can see that the percentile differs for various tests. You can see that my GTX 1080 places me on the 57th percentile with 8400 points for the 3D mark. Finally, I will show you how to compare your CPU and GPU results to other CPUs and GPUs. 
you can simply click the compare online button of the end screen. You can see here that it takes you to the CPU benchmarks site on the Passmark homepage. And you can then select the search for your CPU model and then simply enter the name of your CPU. In my case it's the 4790K and it will show you the average rating. As you can see here it's roughly 8000 points for the CPU mark. Compared to the CPU mark with recording it's 7160 points roughly. That is of course a bit higher when you don't record at the same time when running the benchmark. When not recording I get about 500 more points for the CPU mark, which places me right around the 8000 point mark that is being shown here. You can also have a look at the high end CPU results, which can, depending on your system and your score, get quite depressing. You can do what I just showed you also do for your GPU, so search for your video card within the benchmarks and also look at the high end video chart. And also hopefully not get depressed by the results other GPUs have. Hopefully this video helped you in benchmarking your system using the Passmark benchmarking tools. When you've made it so far in the video consider a like and a subscribe if you want to support the channel in the future and also leave a comment down below with your high score. We'll see you in the next one.